Hello lovely beings! Welcome back again to my channel. My name is Cindy. So I am finally doing a monthly zodiac sign reading. So this has been heavily requested for such a long time. And the reason why I haven't uh, been doing this, it's because I, I, I just felt that I needed to do some bit of more research about astrological signs, the elements, and things like that. Even though I have always been really interested in astrology, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know how this resonates with you, let me know what, you, what do you think about this series, and if all is good and well, I will definitely be continuing a astrological maybe even weekly reading, like monthly, weekly. We will see how things go, okay? Don't forget to also check out my Instagram for more posts, updates, art, lifestyle, spirituality. You can just follow me there. And if you are interested in more spiritual topics like manifestation, art, lifestyle, witchcraft as well, I have so many more contents on another YouTube channel at Amorinet where you can also check it out and subscribe to me there, okay? So let us begin your monthly reading for the rest of September 2020, even though it's a little bit late, but let's go. All right, hello, my lovely Capricorns. Ooh, I love Capricorns. I have quite a lot of people. Um, I have quite a lot of Capricorns people in my life. And oh my goodness, let me tell you, Capricorns. What I really like about your energy is that you care a lot about your legacy or that you care a lot about your success, your future. You have a big vision. You are a big idealistic person, which I do like because, hi, I'm a Virgo and I am kind of crazy when it comes to perfectionism, which I am sometimes annoyed by myself. So let's take a look. What's coming into your life, my fellow Capricorns? for the rest of September 2020. Ooh, oh my goodness. Chill, chill, chill. Ooh. Capricorn, your cards are acting crazy. Okay. Ooh, wait. I oh my goodness. The cards are almost falling out. Okay, Capricorn. Let me tell you. There is going to be a huge shift that is going to happen in your life towards the rest of September 2020 all the way to the 5th of October. Now, I know this is very specific, okay? But this is crazy. I don't often pick up very specific dates, but I'm picking up from now on, from whenever you're watching this, towards the 5th, yeah, the 5th of October, something is happening, a major shift is happening there's something about your relationship, your love life, and your commitment, okay? One more card, Spirit Guides. Wow, dynamic, fiery, passionate energy, a lot of sexual energy. I have to say, Capricorn, a lot, a lot, a lot of sexual energy, a lot of passion that is being spent sparks uh, sparks a lot of passionate spark that is being ignited and flying all over okay so this is really crazy oh okay 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 we have quite a lot of cards here let's take a look we have death in reverse there is definitely a major transformation a change like i said this is especially in your love life that you need to make but it seems that you have been really scared or that you will feel some type of intense trigger within yourself that you don't know how to make this change. You do want this change, but you don't know how. So in the past, you may be feeling not sure about if you want to go for this change or not, though I do see that right now you do want to make it, but you just don't know how. And the closer you are getting into that transformation about yourself, about your own truth, honesty, expression, okay? Tearing down that walls and letting people in, okay? That, that's that, you know, that transformation is coming. The closer you're getting there, you're going to get really triggered. This is spiritual awakening. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> 
pardon me so this often happens whenever i am picking up like straightforward really heavy uh intense energy i get a little bit of hiccups sometimes and sometimes a bit burp which is really nasty but capricorn look at that we have the seven of cups you have a lot of options <sighs> capricorn the tower mm, don't we all love the tower card what did i say big major change now with this three cards over here okay the death the seven of cups and then the tower with the seven of cups this often talks about options about opportunities or somebody that is so up high in the clouds so here's the thing I'm picking up that for some of you, you have been living in a fantasy land. You have been in this dream land, but you know that soon enough you have to touch ground. Okay, you have to go back to earth and to face reality that there is a major change that you need to do, that you need to take action towards. No, I feel that this is again a relationship, but this is coming from yourself. Okay, this is th this decision is being triggered by the universe but it's also coming from within yourself as a knowing like a, a like like a soul to soul knowing you know I, I just feel that capricorn there there is a person like a specific person in your mind that you cannot let go of and you know that there is a soul tie that is connecting heavily between you and this person and I do see that for some few of you, you need to take action towards this person. You need to open up your heart, move on from the past and start a new chapter with this person, okay? Now, for others of you, I do see that this is your person that will finally come back they may chat you they they may call you they may send you a text message that you're not going to expect at all and it's not really the person that is surprising you but it's more about the message itself or the way that this person talks to you whatever this person will say in the in that text message okay the content of that message will be the thing that will be very surprising for you so it could be that you have been in love in a situationship or in a relationship with somebody that is not really good with their communication maybe there has been some misunderstanding between you and this person and you will finally gain clarity some triggering signs as well about this person and you will be receiving a text message that you just did not expect that it's going to go that way which is going to bring a lot of huge changes in your life it's going to be very surprising you may be hearing about your person from somebody else either through their friends through your friends through you know just people that you both know either way there could be some info some message that you will be hearing about your person that is going to bring you more clarity okay now i'm picking up there is an air sign or a water sign that is heavily influencing you wanting to talk to you but i feel like this energy is quite manipulative okay air sign Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Libra, right? Yes, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I'm picking up Gemini. I'm picking up it's a Gemini that is being not so supportive of you in your own choices, in your own personal life, whatever it is. But I'm feeling there is a particular Gemini here that is not being supportive of you. That is a little bit noisy okay They're, they just like to stick their nose in your business they just like to say a lot of pessimistic shit they're, maybe they're bitter maybe they're negative judgy okay criticizing you it's just not good okay quite a manipulative energy that's what i'm picking up now if it's a water sign 
I am picking up I mean water sign can just be you know cancer Pisces or Scorpio you know just take whichever resonates but I am picking up for the majority of you it's a cancer it's a cancer that is okay the if it's a water sign I am picking up especially if it's a cancer they will actually be the one that will bring you some sort of message or information about your person okay so we have three more cards let's take a look what do we have here we have the two of fire upright we have the two of pentacles upright we have the five of cups in reverse okay so a lot of hesitation a lot of juggling i just feel that there is going to be a leap of faith a major change that you do need to make in your own personal life i feel this could be a relocation of your job or your home life but i feel 90 percent. okay this is about love this is about a relationship that you really want to make it happen which i do see that you are going to take that action but you are still on that edge of feeling that fear of having to sacrifice something else so it could be that maybe you are with somebody right now but you know that you are feeling called to somebody else that is actually meant to be for you oh by the way i saw the number 1001 okay 1001 on this video recording so twin flames mirroring okay you could be dealing with a twin flame here you could be asking who is my true twin flame who is my one true love and you are going to receive clarity and answer about that very soon okay Oh, by the way, I, I mentioned something about the 5th of October, right? Look at that. The Five of Cups, okay, with the number five. So if you have been feeling low, if you have been feeling really sad and depressed and just melancholic all over, don't worry. It's going to change. One more, okay, one more card for you, Capricorn. The Two of Cups in reverse. Now, I feel that whoever that you have been dealing with this is actually your true twin flame the person that the new or another person that you may be dealing with right now may not be the one for you that's what i'm picking up and you are feeling a call back towards the person of your recent past which is actually your true soulmate or twin flame you know however you would like to call it. it's just a spiritual label but then again i feel like that is your situation that's that's what's going on the four of cups in reverse you will finally see things for what it is you will you will finally listen to your own intuition and accept the signs from the universe that there is something more going on than meets the eye and you have to take action towards it or if the other person the one that is taking action that then well you will be gaining more clarity or just receiving some info or sign about them but whatever it is whatever leap of faith that you need to be brave and take that chance for this new relationship with this person that you feel called to there is probably some type of sacrifice within your life that you need to do this could be a sacrifice of your job uh, a family or even another situation ship okay okay so that is your reading capricorn i hope this brings you a lot of clarity let me know down below in the comments and i will be back again Mwah.